Alrighty, and this is the foam pad which I bought uh, for 143 rand. That's including tax, or VAT, which is what tax is around here. Value added tax from yeah, or a from these people. Racketex, I suppose, in uh, what looks like Epping. Anyway, um, yeah, basically I need 168 mils. I'm gonna make it slightly wider because it's that's the width of the box in this case. And yeah, because I need quite a few layers, then I'm just gonna cut a strip down the edge of this foam pad. It, it's it's plenty big enough. I mean, it's 1.4 meters by 1.8 meters, so it's like a six six foot that way, and I don't know what. A bit less this way. Anyway, let's get cutting. Uh, remember these scissors. Apparently they do actually cut. But before we cut, let's make some marks with uh, a little bit of chalk. See if that works for us. Right. Hmm. wonder how you're supposed to mark this stuff. I mean, I, I could press harder, but then I'm going to break it, so... Hmm. Okay, um... Let's try it some other way. There's a very faint mark there. Sort of works. We just have to set ourselves some markers to go for. Making sure I don't hook the carpet. <laughs> This is just, how are we doing here? Yeah, a bit wider than I wanted, but probably a bit wider is better because it's very compressible stuff. Check how we're doing now. Righty, so, here's my magic piece of paper. So, one of these only needs to be 80, and the other one needs to be the balance of what's approximately 352 minus 16 minus 80. So, 352 minus 96, I suppose. Anyway, let's do the 80. And we need at least two of those, one for each side. Make them slightly bigger. Let's go with, I don't know, 85 and see how that works. <clears throat> it's Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that as a test fit. Uh, let's try another one. So we need um, basically two layers, but times two speakers, so four of these. So I haven't lost my mind, don't worry. Not yet, at least. Not today. There we go, even easier way to do this. Learning as we go. Let's try that one. 25, 6. So yeah, I just put them in here. Just need to glue them, but that's just test fitting. I have to compress them a little bit, but not too much. Then we can put the other loose fill on top, which goes to about here. And this other one goes a lot higher. And then the other bit that we need to do goes around here, wraps around, uh, and then we do the top, or oh, it's just the divider, here to about here. So there's still quite a bit more to do, but at least we've got uh, the base of these two left and right speakers uh, sorted out. Okie dokie, so now 
this is what we've got. A whole bunch of absorbent foam. I'm trying to figure out how to stick it on. Um, let's try like this. That's not working too well. Okay, not the end of the world. Such messy stuff, this. <laughs> I'm really trying not to get it on top of me. Let's just do the top. Your oh, problem's going to be a bit hard. I've got a couple of holes here for the you know, the wires for the driver to come through. But what I'm thinking is I'll just, you know, make a hole right through this on the top, some sharp thing like in, you know, a nail, even if I have to sharpen the nail first. At least that way I've got this in. Well, this glue certainly has got a very high like tack factor, whatever it's called. You know, it's very tacky. Um, I don't like the smell. <laughs> it smells quite strong. I'm just holding this on with my hands for a little while, but look at that. Pretty good already. Hey, a couple of clamps to rescue. Bits of wood at the bottom where the clamps don't reach to press it up against the you know, against the center divider board. See, just just like that, temporary. Same on the other side here is actually another piece of wood just propped up with a bit of foam behind it just to give it a bit of a bit of compression. Nothing drastic. So the speakers are starting to come together quite rapidly now. So one of the things I need to do is put in this full over here. See, I've written on 30 to 40 millimeters, but you know, below the port, and here it's 80 mils below. Well, I suppose the, the hole for the driver. I'm trying to think of the right words, but you know, you translate the German into you know, English so that I can read it, and I'm like, eh, yeah, like that's a TT. Don't ask me why that's a TT, for example. But cool. Um, so I'm going to be using some basically fiberglass uh, because for some reason it does not irritate my fingers or you know, skin. So I worked out that this needs to be about 11 to 12 centimeters from here to, well, to 30 to 40 mils below this one. So and this is about 25 centimeters here. So let's get some pieces. So this is what I'm going to be using. And yeah, that one, mm, it's a bit long. So let's just cut it. The 25 is up to about there. We can cut that bit off there. Tracks me is good. Cut the other side off instead. Cool, I'm just gonna make a mark. It's about there. Like this stuff, you can just mark with your finger. And I'm just gonna use a normal hand saw, which is actually a wood saw. That's actually remarkably easy to cut if you don't mess around with it too much. Okay. Um, so it's not going to take another whole layer. So what I might do is have to um, stuff it. So I'll, I'll move this one up a bit to about there, I think. And the thinking there is it'll keep the looser, smaller bits in place. 
because that's now wedged in between that and that. And, you know, it's not going to break apart. Just double check that we've got the spacing right. And yeah, that's pretty much between three and four. So I'm happy with that. It's basically just like, I don't know, a quarter of a layer. I'm concerned that the speakers over the years might be, you know, put on their sides and lift it up and put down again and things like that. And we'll end up with a situation where the soft sound absorbent matting, which is what this is supposed to be, is not where it needs to be. So let's just uh, stick with plan A, I think. First off cut from earlier. So this one is until about eight centimeters below that. So effectively, that's on oh, it's pretty much 58. So 50 centimeters so up until there, which looks right. You just cut it a bit, uh, cut the end off. Never tear it if you're very gentle. Not ask where the feathers came from. Fifty AK is a bit short, so I need to put a bit more in there. And there we go. We've got uh, you know a left and a right, or a right and a left, or the other way around. Doesn't really matter which one you want to use them. So I do need to still stuff the little uh, cabinets right at the top. That's what I mean. Got to get these uh, stuffed as well. Shouldn't take much though. Um, I don't really mind too much about putting this in before I put the speakers in because I can access the back here for the holes for the to feed the cables through. Just get the hand in and out. Good enough for now. Let me do the other one. Okay, so that's the stuffing in, uh, all the damping material. Some people say dampening, but I think it's damping is the correct English. The little tweeter box at the top are now both stuffed as well. A little bit nerve-wracking now because I need to put the final cover on this. And uh, yeah, it gets glued on, so it gets a lot harder to get in here and tweak anything if I've got it wrong. So uh, hopefully it's all right.